that, uh oh, hey, you were supposed to be a tranquil beast, not a, oh my god, I can't believe this guy, god, he put a, he put a scratch on my, on my camera, <laughs> that is funny, that is truly funny, oh my god, I hope my lens is thinking of that cat, viciously attacked by a cat at Wateroon. That would make a good title for a blog. The Cat Attack at Wat Arun. I was waxing eloquently about uh, the riverboat and the watts in the background. Um, hey, that's very Bangkokian if there is such a word. Not looking to my right. And to spot one of the landmarks of Bangkok, the Wat Arun, a three-star attraction. And I'll follow this uh, gentleman here. Hey, get away. Yeah. Don't want to be bitten by a dog. That's a nightmare. I follow this gentleman towards the water room through dark alleys, peeking into homes. I hope I'm going where I think I'm going. <laughs> Almost stepping on cats. Hello, hello, hi, where are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you. Wow, okay, I'm now on my own. I don't think I'm going to find my way back. i got to find some other way back from Wateroon. I've just walked through a pretty dodgy area. Glad to see some light up here. Ah, wide open street. Good. There's Wateroon. It just seems so much further than I imagined. I'm still kilometers away from it. There's a guy stopping to photograph a monk. Who would do that? Bridge. Wateroon? That, that way? Thank you. So here's my first uh, close-up view of Wateroon. I just hope it's open and uh, I can get closer than this. To my uh, great delight, I seem to have found uh, the entrance to Wateroon. Even to get this close would be great. I'm to see it with uh, this kind of peace, with nobody around, is inspirational to say the least. It's always a thrill to doing something for the very first time, and this is one of those thrills. Beautiful. What a room! One of the great monuments of Buddhism. And there goes my red flashing battery. Fortunately this time I have a spare. But I see a closed gate and this is about as close as I will get. But even so, this is close enough for me to make it worthwhile. Wow, look at this. You can hear the chanting of the monks.
thrilled to have caught the tail end of that Buddhist chant. Great timing. If you're a stranger, this stuff is all fascinating. As I leave uh, Wata Arun, comes the tough part. How do you get back? No idea. But maybe there's a boat stop that not uh, here. That would be really neat. Other than that, I gotta find a bus. I'm on the wrong side of the river. My bus map saves the day as I catch uh, a, a bus from uh, Wata Arun back over to the other side of the river to Stay in uh, Bangkok on March the 26th. I am off to number three, and that is <coughs> Wat Arun across the river. This is my uh, second visit to Wat Arun, the first one having been at night. That was really, really enchanting. And uh, I see from just looking at this. The thrill seems to be in climbing up to the various levels. There's people way up there where that yellow is. There's people right there. This uh, certainly does not make Wataroon different from any of the other Wats I've seen. But uh, just walk with me a little bit over here. And uh, you quickly come to the realization that indeed this is quite different from any of the others. A lot less gilded, a lot less glossy, a lot less glitzy, but in its own way, the architecture is outstanding. For instance, just look at those figures right there in their position holding up the building. Just right there, and that pattern repeats itself further up on the building. And further up, just gets more and more intricate. But again, the question arises, how do you build something like that? How do you work up there at that height? And then over here, it's like somebody else took over. Totally different. These steps are incredibly high, meant for giants. And as I come up here, I run into a view that has a beautiful contrast. The glistening roof caught by the evening sun. But let's not get carried away because got to go up further right here. Okay, okay, okay. Luckily that last part is uh, blocked off. But I see people even higher, so there's got to be a way to get up there. All right, good enough. Let's go. The view up here is great, but it's going to get greater because there are more steps to go up. Okay, one, one big step for mankind. Jesus is high. This is crazy. I'm carrying a bag. Good thing I got something to hold on to. Guess I didn't have much space to put a staircase. Okay, over here. Oof. 
How about that? Do not climb the railing. All right, I won't do that. Bright colors all around. People clutching for on for dear life. Again, looking over towards the Bangkok. When I say Bangkok, I'm talking about the main part of the city. there are uh, no more stairs to go higher from here on in you need mountain climbing equipment or scaffolding yeah so that's the top see there's there are stairs going up there not for the general public but there are metal light metal stairs leading up to the top there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. oh my god how would you like to go up there no way these uh, buildings to the west are all part of the water room complex. Here's a view south. The river to my left. The stairs leading down right there. This is uh, probably the best view that you can get of uh, Bangkok by the river. Thinking that cat, viciously attacked by a cat at Wateroon, I would make a good title for a blog, The Cat Attack at Wat Arun. That's the walk that I made at night uh, during my first visit to Wat Arun. It wasn't open, but it was great to see with all the golden lights on it. It's a beautiful sight. And where's that damn cat that was right there? Just about did me in right there on that ledge. It's gone. That, uh oh. Hey, you were supposed to be a tranquil beast, not a. Oh my god. I can't believe this guy. God, he put a, he put a scratch on my, on my camera. <laughs> that is funny. That is truly funny. Oh my god, I hope my lens is all right. <laughs> to see whether that scratch was caught on. <laughs> that was bizarre, to say the least. <laughs>